guys, this is one of those videos where it was never an intentional video for me to make, but I'm going to make it because it gets requested all the time. So I wanted to kind of explain exactly what your glasses prescription means and talk a little bit generally about eyes and prescription. So I am an optometrist, so if you have any questions and anything that I didn't cover, then just ask me in the comments below and I'm happy to answer any questions. So you will get something that looks like this. Obviously it's not going to be the same size as this but you will get something that looks vaguely like this. So this is the prescription for the right eye and above the right, above this you'll see the letters SPH which stands for sphere. This is the spherical power of the eye. So if this number up here starts with a plus that tells me that somebody is long sighted. So when somebody is long sighted it means that their eyes are more relaxed when they look in the long distance than when they look up close. So if somebody long sighted is doing a lot of computer work for a longer period of time they'll find that things may be slightly blurry, things may be harder to focus, they may get headaches without their glasses and when they look at things in the distance their eyes are slightly more relaxed, the vision will probably be slightly better. When somebody is mildly long sighted, so say if somebody is about a plus 050, generally a plus 050 is quite close to zero so this person is only slightly long sighted. So again what this means is if you get somebody to look in the distance and they're a plus 050 they will be able to see absolutely fine in the distance, they won't have any issues generally but again if, you're the, if they're doing a lot of computer work, they're working in front of a computer, office based work the entire day then by the end of this day the patient or the customer may end up getting a little bit of eye strain, their eyes might get a little bit tired, they may notice a little bit of blurriness at the end of the day when they're really tired but only because they're slightly long sighted. If somebody is zero it means they're neither long sighted or short sighted and their eyes are kind of relaxed at both distances. If you see a minus on the front of this, so if you see that the first, in under the spherical power, if you see that this is a minus, what this tells me is somebody is short sighted. So if somebody is short sighted it means their eyes are more relaxed at shorter and close distances than their eyes can see in the distance. So if somebody short sighted and minus prescription is about a minus five that's quite short sighted. So what this person will notice is they can't really see too much in the distance past a certain distance and if they hold things fairly close to them they can see things in a lot of detail, they can see things very clearly up close but they have to hold things quite close to them. If somebody is only mildly short sighted, so for example a minus 0.75 it means they are only slightly short sighted so generally their distance vision is quite good but if things are particularly far away if they're sitting right at the back of the class at school they might not be able to see what the teacher's writing but anything in front of them so computers and reading and things like that will be absolutely fine the higher the number the more long or short sighted somebody is the next part is this part at the top here which is the cyl which stands for cylinder so if somebody has numbers under the cylindrical box, what this tells me is that they have something called astigmatism. So instead of the light going straight into the eye and hitting one point on the back of the eye, this doesn't happen with somebody with astigmatism because the surface is a little bit less spherical. So if you have a very slight curve in the shape of your eye, the light doesn't go in at one point and hit on the back of the eye at one point, it will go in at slightly different angles and you may get a little bit of separation. So what this basically means is this person has astigmatism which means that the shape of the eye is not completely rounded and spherical. They have a very slight curve to the eye which just means that they don't get the absolute perfect clarity of vision. Somebody with higher astigmatism, so minus 250, their eye shape is slightly more curved and they will need a correction in place to make the vision a little bit better, a little bit sharper, a little bit more comfortable. Somebody with lower astigmatism has a more rounded shaped eye. Generally they can see things quite clearly. I would be inclined to say the majority of people in the world have astigmatism. So if you have astigmatism and your eyes are not perfectly rounded in shape, you are in the majority of the people. There are a very small percentage of people that don't have astigmatism. Astigmatism is normal, it's very common. And again, depending on the number, so the higher the number, the more curved the shape of the eye is. And we also add in a lens just to correct for that to make the light hit the back of the eye at just one point. The axis, which is the last box here, so the axis is just under there and what the axis tells me is that which angle the lens needs to go into. 
So if you have a spherical power, so say you've got a perfectly rounded shaped eye and you have just the spherical power. So ignore the sill and ignore the axis for now. You've just got a spherical power, which is the plus four. So if you put in a plus four lens in front of somebody's eye, they will be able to see perfectly and they will be able to see clearly. What a plus four lens means, a spherical lens, it means in every single direction, that lens is a plus four. So you can rotate the lens, you can spin it around and that person will still be able to see. You can put their glasses on their face at a wonky angle and they will still be able to see absolutely fine. As soon as you have astigmatism, your lens needs to be in a specific position. So if your eye is curved that way, or curved that way, or curved that way, or curved that way, you need to have the lens in exactly the right place to correct that power. So what it basically means is that your eye might be one power that way, but a completely different power that way. So with the astigmatism, it means that instead of having one power all the way over, they've got two different powers on their eye, right? And the lens needs to be at the right angle for the patient to see. The axis tells me the, the direction that the lens needs to sit in. So that is just for the lab, and they use that to determine which position the lens actually goes into in the frame. So you will only ever have an axis when you've got a cylindrical power. The next bit you'll see at the bottom of somebody's prescription is where it says add, and I've written plus two. So when we generally do a prescription, it is to basically ensure that the patient can see in the distance, clearly, comfortably, and it's their general prescription for day to day. So they can use this prescription for long distance, they can use this prescription for reading. When you get to the age of about 45, you start getting two prescriptions. So under the age of 45, roughly, you'll only have one prescription. And that prescription can be used for everything. You can use it for distance, you can use it for reading, you can wear your glasses all the time. When you get to the age of 45, your prescription starts to split into two i.e. that you have one prescription then that you can use for distance and you need something different in order to read with. When we work out the prescription and the astigmatism at the top, this bit is somebody's distance prescription up here. So this is what they would use for distance and under the age of 45 they would have used this for reading as well. When people get a little bit older they have to have a reading addition which basically means it's a bit of magnification that goes over the top of their distance prescription in order to allow them to read. The number of the addition will go up depending on the age of the patient. So the older you get the higher your addition goes up because the more magnification you need. The reason that this happens is because when you get to the age of about 45, the lens inside your eye that allows you to read and allows you to focus on closer things starts to get a little bit hard, it's not as flexible and you need a little bit of magnification around that age to start reading clearly. And this is a process that happens generally with age and it kind of happens to everybody. So needing reading glasses at around the age of 45 is really not anything odd. It's not unusual. It's pretty normal for most people. If you are short sighted and you can generally read okay without your glasses, what that person will find they do is actually start taking their glasses off when they read because they don't need that distance correction anymore and they can read close up without the glasses. So they'll just take their glasses off. If somebody is long sighted, you'll need to give them a separate pair of glasses to read with but generally at the age of about 45 everybody starts getting that split in prescriptions where they can't use one pair of glasses for everything. You might also see another couple of boxes on your prescriptions saying prism and base. The prism and base lenses are only used in a small percentage of people. Prisms are usually given to people whose eyes don't work together that well. They're just not kind of straight, they're not working together quite well. A prism will just line up the two eyes and make them work together more comfortably. So the prism doesn't isn't used for the majority of people but the prism box is in there and it will probably be empty in the majority of cases but prism is just to allow you to use both the eyes together i hope that kind of makes a little bit more sense and i hope that generally that means that you can look at your prescription and go okay i kind of know how my eyes are working one thing i do always say to patients when the prescription is generally regularly changing i will always you know tell patients that Physically, in the majority of cases, their eyes are absolutely fine and perfectly healthy. So you could theoretically be a minus 10 and have perfectly healthy eyes. An optician doesn't generally worry about the numbers. What the optician is there to really check is that your eyes are healthy. There's no pathology at the back of the eye. There's no eye disease. The number in the prescription is actually the bit that we least worry about. That's just to get you to see as clearly as you possibly can. People with a minus 10 and people with a minus 1 both probably have perfectly healthy eyes. It's just that the minus 10 person has a slightly different shaped eye to the minus one person, 
which is the reason that people have different prescriptions. Not all of us are the same height, so why would our eye length and shape be exactly the same? That is all that determines your prescription, is the shape and size of the eye and the hardening of the lens when you get to the age of 45. So generally a prescription is a prescription, it's to do with the shape of your eyes, jeans and things come into it, so if people in the family wear glasses, the chances are it's, it's not gonna be unusual for you to wear glasses as well. That's pretty much what I wanted to cover in this video. I just wanna talk a little bit about eyes and prescriptions and what it means. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below. If I get loads of questions and I feel like there's a whole section I haven't covered, I will make out an entirely another video. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of a rundown on what your glasses prescription actually means so when you go to opticians you don't kind of look at the numbers and go yeah this means nothing to me if you have any questions let me know and i will see you guys in the next video